What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring the next episode of Napoleon of my next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, we have a Russian army forming up to assault us, and I'm a bit concerned because we've not got um Well, we've got lots of artillery for defence inside the fort, so I might have to be a bit different here. They're trying to withstand this, and I might have to buy artillery outside of the fort. At least my foot artillery. But we'll have to see what the terrain is like. And it depends which way, from which angle, they're going to be attacking the, the fort. To Ooh. Their okay, we've got a breach, so I'm not as bothered about that now. Let's play everything out first. Put two batteries in dug in positions then the others I might actually put them here because they'll at least be able to fire at anyone on this side and they'll also I'll also blast them with maybe even like that um, <clears throat> blast them with canister shot as they get near. Let's put the howitzers back. Are they... Well, if we deploy them a bit forward, actually, they can do counter-battery work. So if we deployed them here... Yes, they can actually attack their artillery batteries. That's a good idea, I think. So let's deploy my infantry on the walls let's put King's German Legion inside the command HQ bearing in mind we are going to want well I put a light infantry unit here because they'll be more accurate and they'll be supported by artillery anyway Because we then will have. Well, first, turn fireball off. Good. Because I want to do things like. This to help protect my. To help protect my guns. It might make their shots a bit weaker. Because they'll be. They'll be, you know, fire. They might be hitting. Hitting the defences, but. It's not such a bad thing. But one unit inside the armory. Then I'll need to cover back here. Rather than standing in front. Because if they're firing over here, or the people in this area, if I deploy my troops there, they will get shot in the back. So I might just have to deploy them back here. And then these guys are probably going to form a reserve. And these guys can form. Have a little have a little barricade. And my cavalry is probably gonna stay out here to support my artillery. And then my general inside under cover. And that's everyone. So the artillery should focus Let's focus their art their infantry. Their, oh, their, um, militia, militia. Let's go for militia. Get these guys out of position. Everyone else is all formed up. to shot the breach. The shells coming in. No, they're not targeting the artillery, but they're doing a good job of hitting the infantry. Glorious victories are barrage soon to be with my artillery. If I can get an early barrage off, then they'll be ready and reloaded by the time Get into canister shot range. There we 
we are getting some long shots off. Excellent hit on the cavalry. Oh, excellent shot. Could probably do with having another unit up on the wall. these guys do. Halt the fire. See if we can break this charge on the flank. So we've started the route. Hit the Jaeger. Good stuff, chase them down. So they're trying to try to make their way in, so let's barrage the volley fire. Guard infantry on the walls, that's not great. Keep my cavalry doing business. You are not supposed to be doing that. You guys halt your fire at will. Blast that unit of grenadiers. Bring my cavalry around. What are you doing? Stop. charge this infantry over. Sadly, those fellows are not playing ball. Let's so send some cavalry onwards to the scrum. Good, they're falling back. Get the infantry back. Good. See, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Stay there. Or, better yet, go in there if you want to cause mischief. Can you man your guns again? Nope, seems like they're... They are now useless. One of my, some of my artillery is looking very peaky. But it's going on a good, it's going on a suicide run. Charge on into the Russian Jaeger because they're squidgy, squishy infantry. Cover out. It's really targeting my howitzers against these mounted rifles. Keep running across. Nope, run. Properly run. General's finally charged us, so we might lose our Dragoon Guards, but... So we're winning the cavalry fight, but we're being shot in the rear, so let's ignore the cavalry then and go after... Ooh. Go support the gunners. Why you guys aren't getting into a gun position to support them, I don't know. 
We have another regiment of foot ready to support this attack. We've got some militia and some guardsmen. It would have been nice to get my... It would have been nice to get my cavalry in on that, but... Kill them enough to make them leave. So they are winning decisively. Probably against the militia we're getting those bonuses. I swear to god, this is this game is like I'm not ordering these troops to go places, but they just are. Send, send these guys in to support. This is the problem with Russia, is that they are competent in they are competent in uh, melee. So yeah, so these guys cannot There we go. Actually they can. See if they can actually run away from the Cossacks. Comes to shut the breach. It'd be nice if they could actually hit them on the, on the floor. Let's get my artillery to plink it there. Cossacks, let's bring cavalry around. Let's form the team up again. Good. This militia is coming around the flank, so they are going to get hit by these artillerymen. You'd think you didn't have jobs anymore. Pound them. The odd shots from right. King's German Legion looking a bit weak, so let's get the German Legion out. Charge the Russian Jaeger. Barrage cannons to shot into the militia. So you're going to have a hell of a time. The militia on the walls have fallen back. Our men are running for oh, they, they finally... Into the breach, they broke. Finally. Let's bring you over here. Let's make sure they don't run into the maelstrom. At least they are now to the Dragoons. Yep. The militia have broken, so let's send a unit of King's German Legion to chase them down. These guys change to round shot. Begin to engage the mounted rifles. For the sake of safety, let's get the howitzers to start working on that last unit of horse artillery. Hey, these three came back. So you can you can have a rest. Hey, coloured oh, lead elements still chasing down the militia. Let's bring the dragoons back over here. This cavalry can start to flank around to deal with that last unit of artillery. Look at this, like they're picking the weirdest positions to stand. Good, they've actually formed the right position. Let's 
turn firewall off, turn firewall off. And that's it, a really good job of missing. But it's going to be hard just to hit Cossack Cavalry, especially if I'm going to send these guys nailing in to go take out those, those um, the last set of guns. Go for it. Lightning fast. Start to bring over my dragoons as well. Not a risk of a charge from them. Are these guys being annoying? Maybe. There we go. We form that line to engage. The militias, they try to form up and come back. I don't think they're going to be... There's going to be much problem with them. Nope, they're gone. Okay, they've got a couple of cavalry kills. Must be engulf their artillery team. The cavalry's running. Let's take the opportunity to actually kill as many of them as we can. Hot fire all artillery. Michael Stowell. Let's get you out into the mix. Go off the unit of militia. I doubt they'll get many kills. Yep, just even though they're not routed, but yeah, fair enough. Decisive victory though for us. God damn. 1300 losses for almost 5,000 kills. Vladislav, you've done a hell of a job. Too bad they've routed the annoying way. Just whereas my microphone's actually in not in the right spot. There we go. Okie dokie, so. That's the last action the Russians want to make. Got that army sat there. <laughs> sat there in uh, northern Spain. The Spanish garrison. See, I, I'm, even though Portugal is still our ally, um, never trust the allies. That's what I say. Never, never count on them doing the predictable things. But Sweden's looking a bit fidgety now they've lost their main... They've lost a... They've got nowhere really to trade with. Because they're not going to trade with the Russians. And they're not trading with us because we're at war. Good stuff. So these armies we've got up here near Stuttgart. Oh, Army in Kiev. Got some mines. A mine. Okay, let's take you, Sigmund Werner. Start moving you up to the Russian front. Same with you. And same with you, William. So we've still got a bit of time to withstand the Russians. They could be a bit annoying, like these guys running around raiding things. But I don't want to take the attrition, I'd rather just wait it out. Especially since there's only 1810. John Oswald continues his march onto Belgorod to put pressure on the Russian southern flank, because that, that opens the door to Moscow. But we're just going to cover this bridge. Like, you probably can't. Three units of musketeers, that's a bit minimal. Backed up by three fencibles. Let's auto it and see what happens. Ah, oh, there's no reinforcements. Meh. Yeah, we got defeated. It was worth it just to try and draw the numbers down. Ah, no, I don't want general. Crest. Let's recruit some line just to keep people busy. 
James Inglis Hamilton move on to siege Istanbul. Siege them. Um, hold on to it for now. Alexander Abercrombie, go deal with that chap that's run, running around. Raiding. Well, not raiding, but he could potentially raid. Let's scoot the cavalry up to Moldova. Great, the military buildings. Our spy is still in place up here, but to be honest, there's nowhere that we don't have eyes on. Look up in the northwest, we've got lots of spies. Wellesley and let's send some spies to go and interfere with these armies. God, when the when the winter breaks, there's a lot of troops. They're just gonna surge eastward. I might try to sabotage them, see if I can stop them from moving. I mean I don't quite know what it what it means happens. So we've got spies in St. Petersburg. Moscow, Pavlograd Hussars, Lifeguard Hussars, Ulans, 12 pounders, lots of musketeers, and lots of elite infantry foot guards. And that's a lot of foot guards, 320. That's more than I get. They need to worry about Greece. You know, recruited a merchant in the Adriatic. That was to ship armies, I suspect. Oh no, it might have been to go take this trade node. But we lost it to the Belgians. So let's cap. Put some more on coffee. To be honest, we've not got anything to worry about from an economy perspective. Everything's still going well. I mean, I might just take Istanbul now. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like he's got a flag in one hand and a middle finger in the other to me. That's what I see. Um, but let's take it. Let's take Istanbul. Then with that large army we can save Crimea. I won't advance on Moscow. I want to have Wellington Moscow. Then I'll march him south and I'll go send Wellington to knock out the French. As much as I said taking Moscow will be the end of this campaign, it will be the final destruction of the French. That will be the true end. Oh, not much artillery here. Oh, why am I doing that? Stay unlimbered, get up onto this hill. It's a lovely position. Okay, so let's make the British Dutch. Hold the right flank. Our regular foot. Most of our regular foot are going to take the left flank. With a strong core moving up the centre with the guns. And our general with them. How it says going to move up with British Dutch. So if we can get you up on this hill, that should get you within range. I mean, they've probably got 12s, so I can't afford to take. To I can't afford to think I've got too much free time. So let's move up the troops. Be a bit be a bit aggressive with these guys and send them up to here. And this infantry with the light with the light, the Brunswick sharpshooters, their job is provide a bit of frontal security for our guns in case they tried a suicidal charge. Then our general can march up. No, they're being very forthright on this flank, so I think I might be out of luck trying to push up that far. Let's try that. Could probably push the Brunswickers up with the British Dutch up as well. Nope, I don't want you. I want the Brunswick sharpshooters to fill in the gap. Okay, I didn't select both of my artillery. Maybe you want to be behind behind this hillock. It gives us some some cover from their artillery. I 
No, we might actually be okay. So it looks like they are currently just playing silly buggers with their infantry. So let's try that. And then if they if we get spooked, I mean my, my line infantry is not extended out fully. But if it looks like they're going to go for it, we will run our infantry into position. So let's speed up time a little bit, because we're just walking. I mean, my general staff is a bit isolated there, but their guns are not unlimbered. They've only got sixes, so that's not a real concern. What have we got? You've got nines. Just triple speed it a bit. The very elite 148th experience level 4. Most experienced unit in the army. There we go, now they're unlimbering. No, they've limbered up. Now our guns are in position. I don't know why the layouts... Oh, the layout's a bit funky because of the ridge. So I move you to go forward just a little bit. There we go, lads. Now you may burn powder. I mean, this guy was very keen. He forgot he was a gunner. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so they're probably going to aim for their artillery first. So by the looks of it, these, these three companies will be able to run into position. The trouble is, some of these chaps might just spend some time getting shot at. Because we have an opportunity to push around on the right flank. This building has fallen to the enemy! Hey, don't worry, that's why we've got mortars. Or howitzers. So let's do a test. So our artillery focus fire rapidly. This unit of guns. Yep, they are in range. Glorious victory. Some of the howitzers can can fire at will. These three can actually cover this flank. You two provide a target for these lancers. And I'm completely open to just making all these guys form square. Form square, form square, keep everyone moving because it looks like they're probably gonna. Can you halt? To provide some fire onto them. Ah, they're pushing on the flank. But this armed citizenry will not hold. Okay, let's get this mortar on. Actual duties. Let's run. God, this is it. They're pushing real hard in the centre. Target fire our howitzers. Let fly with the artillery. So the gunners are about to walk into position over here. Our sharpshooters in that building. Let's bring these guys up to cover. I mean, what are you going to do? Wait a minute, you're not going to go for my guns, are you?
Okay, so here's this is their main the bulk of their effort. It's coming in. So we've pushed back their armed in their um, armed citizenry. So we need to push our line up to get them into a nice crossfire. It's too bad I don't have any cavalry. We'll go on, get some pot shots off at the the lancers. Yep. Taking the building, sir. It's the only that's gone back. Okay, everyone needs to just hold. Musketeers, lots of just regular musketeers. Form square with the British Dutch. Twelve light horse. get some troops in here to help support god these guys have they've broken with only 20 casualties well everyone let it fly which means they're probably going to come back they probably are going to come back so it's not although it's a win but it'd be nice to get some free volleys into them Centre of the line is broken because it's a bit of a, a maelstrom they're in. This militia's advanced up a bit too much. My line infantry, even though it's not very efficiently placed, can put out more firepower than those militia. Yep, so they've come back. So let's pivot these two flank companies backwards so they don't get shot in the flank by the armed citizenry. Starting to run out of useful range with our howitzers. It's time a bayonet charge to go in from flanks. One company go in, take the right of the town hall. There's the town hall. These two companies act as a blocker for any armies, any troops that want to come around the flank. push up into the area that's that we've turned into a charnel house. And you get placed because it looks like they want to try and oh, the militia have routed. Okay, the 101st on the flank is looking a bit isolated but they are being focus fired but don't worry. As we move up, these other flank companies, good things will happen. So let's try force the flank out here. Something like this. Because they'll be engaged by our line infantry and the... Ooh! Is that like an errant howitzer shell? Okay, so this flank officially needs to pull back a little bit. Now you know what? You stay right there. Form up your lines. Fire into the rear of the Grenadiers. Yes, waver Grenadiers. The British and Dutch are coming for you all. Stand up to it quite well. So let's assume the Grenadiers will rout beforehand. Let's get the 106 inside the house. Push up our line. Because I'm assuming they're going to rout. Or not. Bayonet charge. We'll see who takes the glory from this field. 
Oh, no, you don't take the house. You can probably advance up to somewhere like here. Oh, that's those howitzer shots are now getting... They're not useful. Trouble is... They're, con the they're confident in the melee. So we're mainly hoping to kill them on the charge and then just make it so they can we we can stay in the fight longer than they can find artillery at the square formation there's a lot of dead russians on the field good stuff they cannot withstand us Hey, the militia did come back. Fire. You see, they don't like falling back. Well, they don't, or at least they don't like... They don't like they don't like actually falling back. They, well, they do like falling back, they just keep coming back. The swines. Let's take the corner out of this. 148th might take a bit of a pounding initially. Nope, but they got the first volley off. And they're getting mown down. these guys capture this ridge you guys can ground to help deal with these chaps that seem to want to keep coming back everyone's forming an orderly queue bring out the howitzers not that'll probably be needed this engagement with the militias is ongoing Do some mobile warfare of sorts. You know, you chaps push up. The artillery is now out of useful range. Good, the 148th putting fire on the 3rd Regiment of Foot, Moscow Grenadiers Battalion. No, Moscow Musketeers Garrison. Those are all completely the wrong words. Oh, the 147th will get some shots off on them too. Oh, and as you can see the fire ranks crashing in to the rear. Seventh, and they're reloading as the bodies crash into the Russian line. The militia have broken. See, it feels like the battle should be over, but you know how these things go. You have to push them. Like, I've, I've spent all this time effectively just pushing them off of the map. 101st is out of ammo. Whoa, it's in the battle. That was, cool. that was a decent battle there. It was just. push them back. You're gonna have a celebratory Pepsi for that. Pepsi Max, of course. Cool. Good. Istanbul is secured and do we oh do we create the Ottoman Empire again as a British colony? Let's Ready and waiting for all. Yes sir. This means we can push up. We took Odessa. 
No way, why am I doing that? I'm gonna take you to You're gonna go by ship. Cool. You're on the march, can't do anything, you're out of range. I mean this Kiev force is hunkering down because there's lots of movement. Let's hit end turn and see what they do before we end the part, because this is a decent length part actually. As some of my spies and armies continue moving. Yes, I'll knock out Moscow, then I'll take Nelson's fleet, sail them back to the last French island. Hey, I don't know what that is. Shield of the Protector. See, I've only got 90 hours in Napoleon, and probably the last 80 of them or so have been this campaign. <laughs> like, I've really not played this much at all, but the principles of line infantry warfare are all pretty pretty established, pretty well known. So they are attempting to try and outflank my forces, which they can do, because they don't suffer the attrition. Um, however, they will suffer when the snows melt. I could send my armies out and just kill them and deal with the attrition, but... You know what? Ooh, is it? No, oh, no, this is Western Europe. So it's probably going to be March by the time the snow is clear. But as is, we've been quite successful in our drive westward. And overall, I'm quite happy because I've played this on hard, and I've not, I've not played um, much, or any Napoleon. <laughs> Um, at all. So the first few battles I was a bit concerned because you don't really have a grip. I didn't really have a grip on what was good. I mean some people are very good at the stats. Like they know down to the digit what's better than this. I tend to just do it at a much higher level and it's a bit more hand wavy but it's things like okay standard line versus standard line. You want to have probably more standard line than them if they've got elite infantry they'll hang around more but if you've got two units of regular line you should still win differences between light and heavy cavalry lancers like there's lots of stuff that you can just learn just from it's more more intuition than than anything do some upgrading keep driving east So we've got some chaps who might want to do some raiding. It looks like they might be building another force to try and attack um, Vilnius. And I'm not going to repair it. Because that breach suit serves our purpose for now. I mean, right now Kamenets is at risk from enemy attack. There's not a lot we can do about it. At least for now. If we temporary, temporarily lose it, then I will take it back, because I don't want to move this army back. Especially when I can put Kiev under siege. Cool. Then I think I'll fight this battle next, but like I said just a minute ago, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Kiev. Cheers, everyone.